Ah, the internet is the internet is dying. I don't know. I couldn't. I couldn't position. I couldn't position because of the lag. Some weird DC happened for just a moment. I guess I have to restart, maybe. Oh, let's see if we won, I guess. But it wasn't even League servers. This is my internet. My internet's so bad, dude. It's the, the, the best I can get in for this address. And it used to be good. All right, I got I'm at 64 points, so I guess I got second. This thing like tracks your win losses. Or actually, I can see where it is on profile, right? How do you do that? Ranked. Oh no, match history. Match history. Unplanned downtime. They can't tell me. Oh, there we go. We got second. Man, I had a reasonable chance of getting first if I didn't get DC'd and couldn't position. Because all he had was the Viego. I could have totally won that, dude. I could have won that. Ah. Oh. That's, that, that's pain. But it, it's second. That's good. Climbing, you know. Big is Sedru. All right. Big climbing today. Big climbing. Many ranks. Hopefully, if we start DC in again, we might have to do the uh, the box opening a little sooner and do a shorter stream. Because I got to open this fancy box here. We got a box from Zydax. It was a gift that's got... Uh, Something delicious in it, hopefully. So that should be pretty cool. I'm excited to see what it is. They build custom-made computers for people that order them and streamers and stuff like that. So hopefully it's got, like, tons of cool little Firebat designs and the Firebat logo and stuff like that. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what to expect exactly, but I'm excited about it. And my compu current computer is falling apart. So I needed an upgrade. For some reason, this one has got a lot of problems. I have to change to borderless and then rank to full screen. So I'm gonna have a new one, and it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be nice. And it's gonna be all fire betty and pog. So I'm super excited to open this bad boy. So we're doing that later on in the stream. Belton, belt sword can go kind of any direction from here, but lean a little bit towards AD because sword is AD. And we got a pair of AD units. In Legionnaire. Legionnaire synergizes with Legionnaire. Get the synergy. Belt. Gear. Defensive stuff. AP stuff. Defensive stuff. AP stuff. Bow. Yasuo slash AD. This looks like a pretty good lobby for AD. There's a couple of people with rods and stuff like that. Deathblade. Aphelios game. I'm not good at Aphelios. Deathblade might mean Aphelios game and can also mean Nocturne, so we pick up Assassin for sure. Deathblade, best in slot item on Nocturne. And Aphelios. And that's about it in the game. And it's two swords. Provides a lot of AD. So that might be something we look at trying to trying to give it a shot. Reforge. Reforge something. I don't mind a death blade. Ooh, but I have that's going in. We strong. We strong. We want that tanking the brunt of it so the proxy's Dawnbringer and starts healing and gets bonus damage. 
then we want this guy to just shred everything down. We could slam the Death Blade if we think we need to to win the next fight, but we want to wait to see what the fight is to see if we need to actually slam it or not. But we definitely want to try and win. We want this to take something that's kind of isolated in a corner somewhere. Oh. Both seem pretty even. Yeah, we should slaughter this guy without the death blade. We got two two stars. He has zero two stars. He does have a Lee Sin, which is one of the better three cost units in the game, especially early on. But um, we should be cool. Aatrox with his self sustaining is really strong in early fights as a two star. And then we buy this. That gives us a little bit of information. We get to see this box phase. The box phase is phases where you get to check out an item. So maybe it's an item that allows us to do something instead of slamming a death blade. Gunfire could leave us open to be more flexible. But it's looking like death blade. We can reforge the shadow vest into a didn't shadow item. Shadow Giant Slayer is good late game, but bad now. It's good for Aphelios. With gloves, it's very strong. Good. More Aphelios. It looks like it's Deathblade. So we want to be drafting AD stuff. I mean, we're strong. Three two stars. But yeah. Gotta start picking up, like, Nightbringers and Four Rangers and trying to go in that direction a little bit. If Shadow Armor turned into Belt or Sword, that would have been sick. Because then we'd have Nocturne open as well, but... None of these really matter. The Brawlers, I guess, we take. We'll probably try to pre-level. If I double level, I could add in a Brawler. We never need this, this, or this. But we could double level, put in Set. Try and preserve this win streak. Who's strong? Yasuo with Hurricane? Probably beat him, honestly. That guy might be... Yeah, let's just do it. We're just pretty much guaranteeing to keep our streak going here. So we're losing one gold of interest, but we're gaining it back by guaranteeing that we win. I was afraid that this guy might beat us, so that's why I did it. He was like the only one in the lobby, and of course that's the guy we play. Isn't that always how it goes? You always play whoever you're most afraid of. The game knows your fear, you know? It sniffs it out. So I think that's going to be the difference there. That the extra unit allows us to win this very comfortably. We pro we might have won without the extra unit, but it would have been stressful. I don't need that kind of stress in my life. We want gloves. Gloves to make Shadow less Whisper. Gloves are gone. More monks is probably fine. Armor for Sunfire is fine. More monks scales better into the late game. Sunfire is better for wind streaking. I'm trying to wind streak right now, so I'm going to slam Sunfire. So if I wasn't going for you know this big wind streak here, I would have taken the other item because I think War is a better item overall. But uh, Sunfire Cape in the early stages really well. It does a percent based damage. So the longer the fights go on, the more useful it is. The fights in the early game tend to go on for a pretty long time compared to the fights at the later stages. This item is good in the beginning and falls off in value as the game goes on. You also, every time in your comp, you either want a Sunfire or a Morellos or a Heimerdinger or a Pantheon or any of the other healing reduction sources so that you can make other teams' sources of healing a little bit worse. So there's a couple of units that do it and a couple of items that do it. Sunfire is one of the items that do it. It's a pretty good thing to have around. So hopefully this allows us to continue winning, keep this streak going, keep making money. And we want to pick this up. So we're getting rid of this. Is this a redeemed unit to go with our Aatronx? Mm-hmm. Well, we're pretty strong. We haven't versed that guy. We haven't versed this guy or this guy, right? Oh, we did verse this guy. He was just the first guy we played, so we're more likely to play against this guy. So we should leave Kha'Zix where he's at. Maybe put this guy here. 
put this down a little bit. So that this gets engaged upon first. Diana. It's an early Diana. Diana's a pretty strong early game. Light game, also pretty strong, but pretty terrifying early game. It's going to get its alt off very consistently. And it's got a, a mean alt. But it looks like we're fine. We want to eventually go Ophelios, probably, but we'll pick up the Rangers for him later. We're not going to hold on to this vein at the cost of interest. Diamond for the first time yesterday. Congrats, Candle Guard. That's pretty pog, dude. I'm happy for you. Yeah, it took me a few days to get back into it and make it back to Diamond, too. I'm going to be honest with you. I got stuck in Platinum for a while. I got stuck in Platinum for a while. But I feel like I'm, I'm getting the hang of it now. I'm starting to m make some moves. But yeah, it's, it's a fun game. It's, it's very easy to get stuck at spots, for sure. It's a very hard game. I'm still bad at a lot of the little stuff. Alien or Redeemed? Redeemed? We want Nightbringer with Ophelios usually. So you want Belt plus uh, Spatula with one of them being Shadow. Typically. We're going to be looking and trying to... How do we make our board stronger after this level? On 3-2, we're going to level up. So we could level up now to try and preserve our win streak. Yeah, we should. Just going to add another Brawler. We could make the Redeemed and add in the Redeemed unit. That might have been the move. Slamming. You can make Hurricane. It's a reasonable slam. I think it's better... I put it on too late, though, so this costs us a little bit in this fight, but it helps the Deathblade scale up really well. We can take Draconic. Draconic's a way to move into Aphelios. Coven or Spellweaver. Neither of those particularly good for us. We don't want Rage Blade on Aphelios because we want to play four Rangers because that's the better way to play him. Shadow Blue doesn't go on too much. We already have this, so we don't need Morellos, so it's probably blue. Nightbringers are eventually good with Aphelios. I need this in play. We're losing Dawn instead of. Yeah. We want to have Legionnaire so that this guy can heal, because he's my most important unit. You can tell because he's got all the items on him. So the guy with all the items on him, we want him to have lots of success. We don't need to three-star him. We don't need Brawler anymore. That's a pair. Oh, no, it's not a pair. So we can get rid of that. We're not doing Redeemed. We have set in play. We should probably keep him. I have to get rid of this. And this. We want to try and keep the Nightbringers if we can, because they're going to be eventually really good for the Aphelios comp. So now we get little eggs from this Draconic, which allows us to get a little bit of extra money, which can hopefully allow us to push to level 8, where we can find the units required for the comp a little bit faster. Can I be your friend? Yo, bro. Yeah, we, we, we can be homies. Just don't expect a lot. And Usually pretty scatterbrained and disorganized. But yeah, we're, we're more like a parasocial relationship. But that can be friends too, right? <laughs> and we'll sell this. To make it to 40. It's not going to be something to be used for a really long time. There's the Aphelios himself, with a rod on him, so we could find a bow and put Rage Blade on him. He's usually not the best unit get early to carry. I didn't need him two star, to be honest with you. We had another tier. We could get Shadow Blue, which is really strong. I'll just take the Aphelios. Building around the Aphelios, getting given Aphelios. I'll take Aphelios. 
Shadow Zeke better than Rageblade? I believe it. Shadow Zeke's is broken. Shadow Zeke's is like Rageblade, but it doesn't take five seconds to activate. It just starts active. And we're making this switch. Then we don't need this anymore. We're looking for the fourth ranger now. We're in, we, we still want this in for now for the Nightbringer. But eventually we want to find the fifth ranger. Spell waiver. AP Aphelios. Yeah, Shadow Zeke's is pretty much almost always better than Rageblade. Shadow Zeke's just one of the best items in the game. So good. Especially this patch. This patch has got so many amazing holders with how good Forgotten is. I already have the scent upgraded. What's my next thing? I'm trying to go four Ranger. I'm trying to get a... Nightbringer related frontline in. We have four ranger. We drop draconic now. We two starred some of the draconic stuff though. But we could drop draconic potentially. Four ranger, two brawler, and then we could put draconic in at the end. What does the egg do? The egg hatches into a draconic unit. Four Rangers is a massive. 180% attack speed bonus every four seconds. So every four seconds, he just goes. Bah, 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 bah. This is pretty good. We are filthy rich. We're at level 7, just still banking 50. People are at level 6, only banking 40 here. We're a whole level ahead of people. Uh, do we need to roll? We probably should try and do something better than this front line. No, we want to fast 8. Let's fast 8. I think I just try and fast aid from this spot. Fast aid, fast aid, fast aid. So that we can potentially hit, um, what's it called? Well, Aphelios 2 gets a lot more likely, but we could potentially hit Kindred, which is a fantastic unit to add. But we're, we're leveling. And I gotta figure out what I want to do with all these items. We definitely don't need another Sunfire. If we get a Garen, we could use Dawnbringer Emblem pretty well. We can never use Coven. We could use Ironclad if we get a Rel. There's a lot of, like, potential stuff we could use, but nothing that's, like, super good to slam right now. It's gonna make too much of a difference. I'm gonna lose these next two fights, get a good Carousel pick, then level up. Carousel pick, we could get another Spatula, which would be really nice. Uh, we want a Bow here to make this Rage Blade. Rageblade's not great with four rangers, but I mean, we'll take it. He had a rod already on him, so what are you going to do, right? Anything else we're missing before I just do it? Bramble? Dual gauntlet? No. Yeah, and we want regular Rageblade so he doesn't kill himself. I mean, it's not the worst of Philios items. Definitely not the best. Pretty middle of the road, I'd say. this guy here to just kind of spread things out a little bit. Maybe draw some aggro. Okay. Continuing on with the plan. Leveling up to 8 soon. Bloodthirster, Last Whisper, Rage Blade. That's a pretty good combination. Generally, you want to... 
a damage item, a sustain item, and an attack speed item. So any combination of uh, that can work out pretty well. All right, one more loss, then we level up. You definitely want Deathblade, I'd say. I'd, I'd say Deathblade is the best one. Deathblade's the best attack item. The best sustain item is BT. And then the best attack item, attack speed item is Shadow Zeke's. But because of the Ranger buff with 180% attack speed, you don't need to build attack speed on him. So I think the best would probably be Deathblade plus Shadow Last Whisper plus um, BT. I think that's best in slot. If you have four ranger. If you only have two ranger, then you're going to need an attack speed item instead. So it changes depending on what units you have in your composition. But we have four ranger already. And we're kind of building around it. Maybe we shouldn't. Maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe we should actually drop two rangers here. Because we have the rage blade and the hurricane, which are both attack speed related. We might find more success with just more nightbringers. No spatula. I have the Shadow Blue Rise I get to put in, which is always really nice. I'm looking to try and get like Shadow Blue Rise with GA. I mean, I could play Teemo too, potentially. And so darkness I, become. I don't need this anymore. Dangerous. We could put this in. I skipped the uh, whatchamacallit, but I think that's fine. Hmm. I'm trying to think what I want this to exactly look like. I don't have a good picture in my mind just yet. I want like Rel and stuff. One cast to team mode. Still one cast is pretty good. Slows him down a lot. We definitely need to get some Nightbringers in there. We don't have any of those. No Lee Sins or Morganas. There's Morganas. Oh, whoops, that one had two in it. I could have got the Nash there, I messed up. Okay. These Brawlers have to get replaced by two-star Nightbringers at some point. That has to go in over the team, though. That's in. Maybe we're dropping two Rangers for now. That This goes in over one of these. Then that allows us to do this. Those are my extra rangers. These are my night bringers. Yeah, blue buff rise. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. We're at a reasonable health total. We need to get in these Nightbringers. This is gone, this is gone, this is going in, this is going in. Oh, that's already in. That's going in. Alright, so we're closer to something real, but we're still kind of far away at the moment. Ironclad goes you. All of these are pairs over here. No Kindred yet. Ophelios too. I don't. That do I? I don't care about Tarek. Screw Tarek. It's a better Nightbringer than Yasuo. The armor shred's really relevant, I'd say. More tank stuff up there. It's 
So yeah, I think this is probably the way we want to build it for the most part. We might still go four ranger at the end, but since we have the rage blade, two rangers seems to be sufficient for the attack speed increase. So more utility units is good. And also we didn't two star any of the rangers. So screw them. If they don't want to show up, they're not going in the camp. Oh, I used the spatula already. You don't always get items here, but you sometimes get items here. And I got items here and I slammed mine. I would have been able to make another Rage Blade for Ash, right? If I would have been slammed and not this, I could have been Shadow Spatula. Would have been sick. We might be able to get Spatula here, but eh. I guess since we don't have any combined items, that's what we take. We just take a Spatula and hope to get it. Um... Am I rolling? We can't get very powerful very easily, but I guess we're just rolling to zero anyway. I need to scout more. Scouting would have been probably a better use of my time there than rolling, to be honest with you. Lulu, you got me? Stop this guy. Thank you. Dude, that Mordekaiser is so thick. We have we didn't even touch it. God dang. The Mordekaiser is like the Aphelios shredder. That's big. Come on. Shoot him. The Death Blade is ramped up. As he participates in more takedowns, the Death Blade gets faster. So we want to avoid AoE, but we also want to cluster so everything attacks the same thing so that you can get Death Blade procs going as soon as possible. So it's a really weird and awkward position you have to balance between. There are no spatulas. We're looking for more Rise items. We're looking for Morellos for Rise for sure. Or Archangels, but this one's not a better, better unit, so I'll take it. Is the Sunfire stops the healing, right? Which is kind of nice, but if this unit dies or if this unit's not in the area where the healing needs to happen, we need some other more consistent way to stop healing. Sunfire is good in the early game, stops the healing, usually applies to most of the units in the battlefield. Late game, it's applying to a very small range of the battlefield and not being very impactful. So we use that to get the win streak to get to where we're at, but now we need actual real anti healing. So this rise with the anti healing is going to be super nice for that. All right, let's find this um, this rel. That's our potential out here is this. We're rolling this for the rel, yeah. We're not doing four ranger because we got the rage blade and Aphelios 3 is our potential win condition that we're going to go for. Um, he's swapping, so we already played him. We played him two rounds ago, right? I don't think I care. I, I wanted to put the Diana over here though. Katarina got lost, that's good. Yeah, Philio's not in the corner, so avoiding that Thresh hook. Neither of us really backlined assassined each other, so we're both kind of fighting front to back. Front to back is the strongest for us. So our Diana and our backline stuff doesn't need to necessarily hit. We just need to make sure that we don't get hit by their stuff. If we don't get hit by their backline assassin stuff, then then we're good. And if we're on the we want to be on the opposite side of big ass Mordekaisers, so that guy. That guy is nuts. But any of the other Mordekaisers are pretty fine. Just that one's really big. We want to be on the same side as Thresh's possible for the most part. I think we're pretty good here. Where'd that Karma go? We want to try and... One of these. Get on that Karma. I missed the Karma. Hopefully our front line holds long enough that the A-bomb doesn't crash us. Because if the A-bomb crashes us, that's that's a lost fight. But we can only go through two units. So it doesn't crash into our corner, so we're good. 
Helios still up. It's clean. Top four. We gain a points. Um, after this, we roll down to try and find three more Aphelioses. We hit Aphelios three-star. That's game over for them. We don't care about this damage type. We don't do magic damage, so reforging that. There we go, tank item. Fantastic. You love to see it. All right, find Aphelios. We pick up all the four costs as we roll to take them out of the pool. Indrid, too, as well, would be really good. Yeah, I always roll too much and forget about the positioning. Oh, no. I'm so vulnerable to all of his stuff. The CC, though? The Kindred? The Kindred saves me? Alright, we, we, we giga-lucked out on the Order of the Ability casts there. I did not get punished for my no-scout. You'd love to see it if you're, if you're a Firebed fan, but if you're on the other team, that's upsetting. All right, so we take this. Oh. <gasps> it's over. Where's it, Draven? I be a draven. That should be GG. Oh, it's the board. It popped up in range of the board, maybe. Holy God, Mordekaiser counters Aphelios. Now he's gone. That's yeah, pretty good. So yeah, I didn't really want to go Aphelios because it's a pretty narrow path. If you don't hit, you can't really pivot to many other things. So it's dangerous to try and go. It also requires you to have a really strong opening so you can fast eight. So the, the things that made this possible, right? Don't don't go out there on your later game and start trying to jam Aphelios right away. You got to know the, what, what made this possible. So what made this possible was I had an early two-star Aatrox. I had an early two-star uh, Gragas. And I had an early two-star Kha'Zix with the Deathblade. So that's what made this possible. That's what allowed me to get the economy to then play Draconic. And then since I had the, the economy and the life to play Draconic, I was able to play Draconic, which then gave me the money to get the fast state to then do this. So you need to have a very powerful start plus Aphelios items. You can't have just Aphelios items. You can't go into this comp off a lose streak. You will die. So, yeah. Just make sure you do that before you go out there and try to play Aphelios, you know? Okay. I think I think now is a good time to, to bust open the box. I want to get this open so that I can try setting up this computer and get everything all set up before uh, before I got to go to the gym today. I've been trying to get back into gym schedule stuff. And if I don't, if you skip one day for me, I'm the type of person, if I skip one day, I'm going to end up skipping five. So I, I really got to budget time for it. So I apologize for that. But uh, we're going to full cam it really quick. Yes. Full camera, and I'm gonna go grab some scissors, and we're gonna unbox the new, the new Firebat PC. So I'm pretty hype about this. My my PC has been falling apart for a while now, so this is gonna be a, a sick new upgrade. Uh, but beer back. Let me grab some scissors. I didn't prepare this. I don't know.
Skizzers. By the way, drop this. And this. Box. Dun 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 Really taped in there. So Zydex is a pretty cool computer company that makes uh, fancy custom-built pieces. Manuals that I'm going to store in a closet and never look at ever again. Fantastic. These are good for, you know, weighting down paper. All right, packaging. Got that. Get that out of the way. More, more packaging, styrofoam, very nice. Zydac Elite Rigs. Fancy packaging there. Wow. We got uh, the order number, positioning stuff, warranty paperwork. The welcome to the Zydex. Your new computer is designed into... That looks quality. A certificate. Oh, signed by the quality control director. I don't know, pretty spiffy. I don't know about certificates and stuff. Frame that, hang that on your wall, why not? I'm gonna go... Don't even need to go for the flip method, look at that. Strong! See, I have to flip them over. Now inside the box was a smaller box. So I guess we're done. Thanks guys for tuning in, appreciate it. This is what was in the box. Another box? No. No, no, okay. Open it up. That'd be kind of troll, though. Seems like something I would do, just end the stream after that. Ooh, baby. Arts. Oh. This one, you usually got to flip. Wedged in there. Okay, so we're going in for the flip. Gentle, careful, and broke it. Baby. So. Styrofoam stuff. Get out of here. Yeah. Smells nice. It's kind of got that new car smell, you know? Got a fancy little fire bed sticker on it. And um, fancy driver man. Zydex is going to be a sponsor of the stream going forward. So they make custom build PCs. They have a bunch of different design things you can do. They can turn any graphics into stickers. They got fancy lights. They got stuff like that. They're going to be sponsoring the stream and they're going to be enabling me 
to give away computers to charity. So what uh, they're going to help me do is whenever I run a charity stream, the highest donator is going to be getting a, uh, a custom-built Zydeck PC. So more charity streams are going to come. We're going to be doing stuff positive with the stream and trying to help people. So now when I do a charity stream, instead of you know just watching me do something silly or me playing some silly Hearthstone deck, there's going to be computers that you are compensated by for giving to charity. That's going to be really cool going forward. I appreciate Zydeck partnering with me to make that possible. Terrified. I want to bring. Read the book on how to get this in, because it's kind of wrapped in there. Wait, there it goes. This is the angle. Boom! Wow, that looks clean. I'm going to zoom in view here. That's what the inside looks. Holy smokes. Water cooling, the Radeon. They, they said that these were like some of the nicest parts. Look at the book, exactly what the numbers are on the parts and stuff like that, but pretty cool stuff. It's hard to see a little bit. I'm sorry, the lighting's a little bad. But uh, so, to list off the parts here, we have. Case is the Gamma Dark. The motherboard is the ASRock X570 Extreme 4. The processor is the AMD Ryzen 7 5800XHC divided by 16T 4.7 gigahertz. So that's got more numbers than anything I've seen before, so it's got to be good. The CPU paste is standard. So we're kind of skimming on the CPU. Standard. The, uh, the cooling here, this thing with the water and whatnot, it's the Alpha Cool Ice Blaster 3360mm AIO Zydeck Edition V2. So that's their own edition of it. So they make their own cooling part. They're like, the ones on the market, they aren't good enough. We're making our own. Uh, the memory is the DDR4 3600 G-Skill Trident Z Neo 64 gigabytes. 32 gigabyte stinks right there. They probably light up rainbow. I've seen the G-Skill ones before. They usually light up rainbow. <laughs> the graphics card is the Radeon RX 670 XT 12 gigabyte. That sounds powerful as hell. So yeah, that's a pretty good card. <laughs> sounds expensive, dude. And the power supply is the 750 watt gold. The, um, I don't even know what half of these other things are. We got a terabyte hard drive in there. You get Barracuda, 7,200 RPMs. Onboard audio, Windows 10. Dynac Gaming Shield. So oh, cool. I'm excited about it. My computer needed an update, so this is going to be really nice for me. Uh, and I appreciate Zydex doing with this and look forward to, uh, you know, more Zydex related promotions in the future in the charity streams. We're going to be doing charity streams to try and, uh, you know, help people in need do something positive more so than uh, we've done it before. I used to do charity streams a long time ago and it used to be just like me doing silly stuff for donations. And now we're going to be, we have the power and the ability to give away computers to people. So to, to drive raising money for charity. So that's going to be really fantastic. And I'm, uh, I'm super fortunate to be able to have this opportunity thanks to Zydex. So uh, if you, you know, I don't know. I, I should have had like a link to their website. But if you need a computer or anything, check them out. There's going to be links coming in the future. And uh, we're going to be doing more stuff with them. But anyway, that's going to be the end of my stream for today, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you watching the stream, hanging out, and, uh, you know, continuing to sub and watch to enable me to do stuff like this. I never would have thought, you know, 10 years ago that I would be able to uh, give computers away to people in need.
You know, I didn't think that was a possibility of something I could do by just sitting in my room playing video games. So it, it's really, really cool. All right. But anyway, that's it for the stream today. We will be back tomorrow. Tomorrow, I, I want to do a longer stream. I want to try and I want to try and push myself. I want to see. I, I've been feeling good. Maybe tomorrow we, we'll, we'll push for like an eight-hour stream. So expect me early morning. If I'm not there, maybe yell at me at Twitter so that I, I get there and do it. Because I, I want to do it. All right. See you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Take care.